In this video, I want to go through how one would spin up an HTTP3 reverse proxy. And it's a very good timing because Man in the Middle Proxy just released their version 11 and they have quite a set of nice features, including HTTP3. With this, we can spin up Man in the Middle Proxy as a reverse proxy and have it point to an HTTP3 website and then talk to our local instant, the reverse proxy, completely through HTTP3. We're gonna go through the traffic and, and discover how uh, the connection upgrade happening. I mean, from HTTP2 all the way to HTTP3. It's very interesting to look at what is happening behind the scene. Let's jump into it. All right, so this is the release notes. Man in the Middle proxy version 11 supports version uh, HTTP3. This is a full support, including all kind of all the modes that they support. We're we're gonna do only the reverse proxy in this particular video because it's the easiest. You now the rest of them can uh, includes a lot of steps, well, especially the transparent proxy. But then, what eventually what we're gonna do? We're gonna use this website, HTTP3.is which essentially is a website that tells you if you support HTTP 3 or not, right? And this is very interesting because, you believe it or not, this is one of the most complex things because HTTP 3 works on Quick, which uses UDP, right? And when, when you do that, well, HTTP 2 and HTTP 1 uses TCP. So well, you cannot use essentially the same connection used for HTTP 2 or 1, for HTTP3, you have to create a new one using Quick, and you have no idea how the ser if the server supports HTTP3 or not. So there is all this negotiation that is happening, and and to get this negotiation negotiation right, it's the tricky part, and this is what we're gonna discuss here. So I went ahead and installed Man in the Middle proxy. You go there, a version 11. That's what you need to have this uh, up and running. And uh, I am using Mac for this to, to particular tutorial. You can use any of these other, uh, any operating system that supports this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and spin up man in the middle proxy in its regular mode, which listens on port 8080. It's critical because this, the first thing that we're gonna need is to actually ask man in the middle proxy to download its certificate authority so I can install it and trust it on my local machine. And for every man in the middle proxy, you get unique certificate authority. So you and I won't, will never have the same certificate authority. It's a completely unique private key and public key. And then you use that to install it on your Mac because guess what? Man in the middle proxy will, will have to serve you a certificate because you're going to use HTTPS. So you need to trust it locally so that uh, everything just flows nicely. So what do we do is we go to my connection, this particular case. I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi and I'm going to set the proxy to point to man in the middle proxy. So th this is just the forward proxy part and we're going to disable it afterward. This is just so we can get to one website to download the certificate. So I'm going to put in the screen how to go there essentially, but you go to the your Wi-Fi setting or your LAN setting, basically I'm using Wi-Fi, and you change the HTTP uh, proxy to point to 127.0.0.1 to port 8080, which is what the uh, man in the middle proxy is listening to. And once you do that, you go to your browser and you just go and open a new page and say HTTP colon colon man in the middle dot IT, right? And you'll be presented with this particular page and if you get this that means you're good if you got the other website which is the public website that means it didn't work so you have to actually have this particular website and in my particular case i'm gonna download the mac uh certificate authority and there's like a bunch of instructions like how to do it what you do is you double click on that you go through this you install it and then you ask it to always trust that uh, this certificate, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So you'll be presented with something like this. I'll try to blur anything that is not, you're not supposed to see, 
But yeah, you get you're gonna get the man in the middle proxy certificate, and it's by default it's not trusted. So you double click on that guy, and then you say, Yeah, I trust you, buddy. Always trust man in the middle proxy. You refresh. Now you're gonna get this. Now it's trusted. Good. That's that's the most difficult part in this whole thing. Now you have a man in the middle proxy certificate trusted on your local installation you can go ahead and disable that uh, web uh, proxy because you don't need it anymore so i went ahead and disabled the web proxy now we actually already yes now we can just just uh, kill the man in the middle proxy entry here and then clear the version and now we're actually ready to spin up a reverse proxy and by default, if the, all the conditions are met, we're going to have HTTP 3 for free here. So let's go ahead and spin up man in the middle proxy in reverse mode. And I want my back end upstream to be HTTP 3.s, which means man in the middle proxy is going to listen locally on port 8080 for both UDP and tcp traffic because it could be quick or um http3 and then it will listen and we'll just wait and that's what we need here so now we're waiting for someone to visit this page 8080 okay so let's go ahead and try it so now we can go https localhost 8080 and look at this we visited localhost 8080, which is a local instance web server, which is the reverse proxy. And then that web server went ahead and contacted the back end, that is HTTP 3, and it uses HTTP 2 for that. Okay. And I wanted to pay attention to that. And my, it might take a couple of tries to get this right, because it's all depends how firefox does it chrome does it differently but when we did that the server that is the actual website responded with this uh with this payload it says hey you don't support http 2 because well granted we did actually use http 2 right and this is the local connection 59637 because there is a local connection between the client and the proxy, and then another connection from the proxy to the actual server. And then there is a very interesting header, alternative service. And this, uh, this tells the client that, hey, by the way, I do support HTTP 3 draft 29. And I also support draft 27, which is these are the two popular versions, right? On this endpoint, 8080. So if you would go and try again, you would be able to communicate with me through quick if you'd like to now we're at the mercy at this point and to our client which is this guy will the client decide to connect back with quick well it might be satisfied with that connection that it created but based on certain situations if we refresh and we were lucky it might actually use the http3 connection which in this particular case, it didn't. If I close and reopen and refresh again, it didn't work. Oh, there you go. I'll tell you, it took, it took a few tries, <laughs> but eventually the Firefox decided, oh, you know what? Let I trust you now. And now, look at that. We're connected to localhost 8080, and this guy's happy. It means like, hey, you're, you're actually connecting via HTTP 3, which is good, right? So now let's just uh, go to the web tools here to confirm that we're actually indeed using... Uh, I don't like Firefox. Sorry, guys. I just use Firefox because it's the only client that works in this particular case. The other Chrome, you need to do all sorts of, you know, hacks to get it to work. Right, especially because it, it, it it's looking for a specific version, you know. But if we look closely, God, Firefox, why don't you show the protocol by default? Sheesh. 
and we can see HTV3. Look at that. This is so interesting. The first one, again, again, we're at the mercy of how the client connects, right? Because the first request, it uses HTV2. And then it tells, oh, never mind, actually uses this endpoint. And there is like time associated with that, like, oh, this endpoint will be available for this much, much milliseconds, right? So that's why getting HTTP3 to, to work is a pain in the butt to get it to work, especially locally, right? But you can see that the rest of the connections is HTTP3, but the main one wasn't. So the next one, refresh, there you go. It works. Now everything is purely HTTP3. And if you look through, it, through the actual flow, you can actually intercept the traffic, look through all its stuff, you know, uh, look at the details. You can see the server. They're using Varnish as that backend server. But yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Isn't this interesting, right? Interesting stuff, you guys. Right? Uh, there is also another mode where in, in if you're using a reverse proxy, uh, you can, through DNS, you can have a record. I, I, I believe it's called SVCB and DNS record that tells you that, hey, the server you're about to connect to, because DNS is the first thing we do, right? So we do a DNS, and then DNS will tell you the IP address, right? Uh, A is the IPv4, A, 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 A is the IPv6. And then if you add also an SVPC, SVC record to your DNS entry that says, hey, by the way, that IP that you're about to connect to, it has HTTP3, by the way. So right there and then, you don't need to connect to, through TCP, do an LPN, say I support HTTP2, only then get a response from the server or probably the frame, the HTTP2 frame, settings frame that tells you, hey, we do support these endpoints to close the TCP connection, reopen another quick connection for the endpoint. What you do is right there and there, oh, DNS told me there is an HTTP3 endpoint. Boop, do it right there and then and that's how cloudflare works basically and, and like with with the with the global network right and other http3 server we don't do this silliness like oh connect tcp close right there and then from dns we tell you that hey there is an http3 endpoint and you can just connect directly right so yeah that's http3 reverse proxy hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one Goodbye.